Heap's Funnel Analysis module is all about how users flow through a process. So understanding not only how many users do an action, but how many of them continue in a desired series of steps, allowing you to better understand your conversion rate and know where users might be getting stuck in the process. When building your funnels in Heap, it's a blank slate, so you have a lot of flexibility in what you can actually build. You can start broad with just a few steps, or you can be really granular and list 10 steps to dig in and understand where users are dropping off when completing your flow or funnel. But generally, it's best to start with a broad funnel, so maybe three to five steps of the key milestones that someone takes in the process you are analyzing. To begin building your funnel, you will simply fill in the events or actions here. Now the first step you add in the funnel is the most important because it effectively acts as a filter for the group of users you are looking at. So be sure the first step is something you will want everyone to have performed. This can be a login or a generic page view event. To add additional steps in the funnel, you will simply click this plus icon and continue building. Once you have your desired steps in place, you will want to set up the date range of when this event is being monitored and then determine the granularity. Granularity is important because this is how long users have to complete the steps in the funnel. Be mindful of this and make sure your organization agrees on how to monitor this conversion. For e-commerce companies, this may be a wider granularity versus SaaS companies who may want to see someone move through their funnel in a single sitting or session. If you choose to select single session, you are requiring that no one navigates away from the page for more than 30 minutes before finishing the flow, since a session ends after 30 minutes of inactivity. Once set, you can click Run Query to see your funnel. When reviewing your funnel, you will see the total conversion rate at the top, which is giving you the percentage of users who made it through your entire process. Then you have the individual steps in the funnel. Each step will show how many people completed this particular step, as well as the conversion rate from one step to the next. If you are noticing a large drop-off, you can click into any particular step to drill down using either the User Analysis Module or Paths Analysis Module. To see which users have or have not completed the step, you will head to the Users Analysis Module. To see what users are doing instead of completing a step, you can head into the Path Analysis Module. The Funnel Analysis Module tells you where you need to focus in order to improve that conversion. Don't forget to leverage those query modifiers to draw even more detailed conclusion to drive your data-driven decisions. Understanding what marketing channel someone came in from or unpacking user behavior can all be accomplished through filters and group buys. Once you have this report set the way you desire, be sure to save it and add it to a dashboard.